We know that any data set can have outliers, which if we're talking about just a single data set, we're talking about values that are extremely large or extremely small relative to the rest of the data. In the case of regression, outliers are points, since we're talking about pairs of values, so xy coordinates, that don't fit as well to the general pattern. And again, in our case, that general straight line pattern that we're looking at. So what we're going to talk about is how those outliers can affect our model. If we do have any outliers or unusual values that don't fit that pattern, we refer to those as influential points. Since those points that don't, as, don't fit as well to the rest of the data can have a strong influence over the regression equation or over that line of best fit for our data. In our last example, we want to take a look at this information on CO2 emissions versus life expectancy for different countries. Now, this is data that potentially has a cause and effect relationship. What we're talking about is CO2 emissions, so meaning increased pollution and life expectancy. Is there some association between those two variables? If you were to find that there was, then that would probably be something worth investigating to see is there a cause and effect relationship. So as we pollute more, are we affecting our life expectancy? So what we want to do is take a look at this data. We're going to construct our line of best fit and regression model. And then we're going to experiment with removing some influential points to see how that affects our model. So rather than using the regression tool under the stat menu, we're going to select applets, regression, and then influence. So what this is going to be is just an interactive version of that regression output. So initially what we get is our data points plotted with the x-axis representing carbon dioxide emissions, life expectancy representing, or I'm sorry, the y-axis representing life expectancy. And what we actually see in this case is a positive association, which might be a little odd to see at first if you think about it. So what we're saying is that as we increase the amount of CO2 emissions, so as we increase pollution in a country, we're actually increasing life expectancy, or we're seeing increased life expectancy. So to environmentalists, that might be a shot in the foot, since that seems to contradict the idea that pollution is bad for us. So coming back to the idea of cause and effect, there's probably some other lurking variable that affects this, which is probably something to do like the wealth of a country. The wealthier a country is, the more cars are on the road, things like that, so the more pollution that's being created. But at the same time, a wealthier country probably has better access to medical care, insurance, so things that are improving life expectancy in the country. So we actually see what might at first be sort of a surprising relationship between these two variables, since they both increase together. Back to this idea of influence, though, we see a point down here that really doesn't fit well with the rest of that pattern. It's pretty far off from the rest of those values. So we can click and drag over this point. It'll get X'd out. And now a new regression model, a new line of best fit is constructed, removing that data point. So in this case, we get a slightly decreased slope we change that line a little bit. And if we continue to remove some other data values, for instance, this value up here, also a little bit off the beaten path from the rest of them, if we X that out, we again see that model change just a little bit more. If we continue removing data values, for instance, this one, we again get another change. So as we start to remove some of those influential points, we can affect that model. So the question becomes, which values should we remove? Is it um, an appropriate thing to do to remove those data values? Um, we are sort of changing the picture of what we've collected. So to think about, is that appropriate? These two values maybe aren't as influential. They're not as far from that original regression equation as this first value. This first one, though, pretty far off the track. 
but does that mean that it's appropriate to get rid of it since that is an actual data value that we captured? So the original um, model that we would have constructed would be y equals 65.4513 plus 0.8255x. After removing our first influential point, this would change to 68.3634 plus 0.5899x. So we have, for instance, two different regression equations to consider. Uh, we're also asked to interpret the slope. So what we're saying in this case with the slope of 0.8255 is as a country's carbon emission, CO2 emissions increase by 0.8255 metric tons, life expectancy, or I'm sorry, as we increase CO2 emissions by one metric ton, life expectancy should go up by a little bit less than a year. So the other thing we want to look at now is the original model and our updated model with that influential point removed. So let's start with the data value that we do know. We know that in the United States, our CO2 emissions are 17.96 metric tons. So we'll plug that value in <clears throat> to get a predicted value, which we can compare with our known value. So if we plug 17.96 into the original model, we get a predicted value of 80.277. If we plug it into our updated model with that influential point removed, we get a predicted value of 70, 78.958. So what we want to do is calculate the residuals in both cases. So for the United States, the actual value is 78.24. So 78.24 minus our predicted value would give us a residual of negative 2.037. Our known value of 78.24 minus our predicted value here would give us a difference of negative 0.718. So in this case, it's our second model that gives us the more accurate prediction because that residual is smaller, meaning our predicted value is much closer to the observed value. But the question again comes back to, is it appropriate to remove the point that we did? Is it something that we need to consider? Is it information that we can throw out? So oftentimes this process will revolve around constructing both models and comparing some of those results and just seeing how those influential points change some of our predictions and trying to determine which model is the better model to use to make these future predictions.